All right, so I'm gonna to talk to you about a Cerber sampler. So this is a Cerber sampler. You see that it has a frame on the bottom. And the frame would go on the stream bed here. You would have cobbles um, or sand or whatever stream bed is um, in your stream. And then this net extends out behind. So the flow of the water would go this way into the stream, into the net, sorry. And so you would, you would place this on the stream bottom and then you would disturb the, the sediment um, using a trowel or your hand um, down here. And as the water's flowing through the net, any little bugs that are on the rocks and sand would get picked up by the flow of the water and caught in the net. And so this is a really great method for quantitative sampling of stream bottoms. And again, it's called a server sampler. Once you have your sample in the net, you would pick it up, kind of rinse the net down with stream water into this collection bucket. And then the collection bucket um, unscrews, it's called a dolphin cup, and it has a mesh screen here and your sample would be inside. And then you could pour your sample into a whirl pack or a sample bottle and preserve it in alcohol, probably using a squirt bottle of alcohol. So that's a server sampler. It is actually really similar to um, a drift net. So drift net, sometimes a little bit bigger. Um, in this case, the drift net would be a, would be anchored to the stream, uh, maybe overnight. You would use rebar and you would pound it into the stream bed. It doesn't have the front frame, and so it's not about sampling the benthos. A drift net, you would want to basically sample the drift. So as the water's coming into the stream, it would carry with it little bugs that get picked up into the drift, um, leaf material, anything floating in the water column itself. And you would set this drift net, drift net up um, to maybe sample overnight or over a few hours in the day. And you'd want the surface of the water to be lower than the top of this net. And in the same way, when you're finished, you would turn it up, rinse it down, and you have the same kind of little dolphin cup at the bottom that unscrews um, and would give you your drift sample. So these are two different ways of sampling for aquatic insects. One, the server sample, or samples the benthos, the bottom of the stream, and two, the drift net samples um, objects in the drift. All right.